Hey guys, what's up? About 36 here, and I'm gonna be showing you how to mod Borderlands 2 using a save editor that just came out. Uh, the code was recently cracked, and we have a save editor now. So I'm gonna show you how to use it. So what you want to do is you want to have your USB plugged into your uh, computer with your game save on it, and you want to go to Games, and then Borderlands 2, and then you want to find your save. And I'm gonna be using a save, and you want to click right on it and click extract file and you want to save it to a folder that you know where it is and then once you have it in here you want to drag it back into horizon and it'll be right here you want to go to contents and then you want to right click on save game and hit extract and you also want to extract that into the same folder as you put your other save and then you come to the save editor and you want to hit open and then click on the save game that you had just extracted and click open and then you'll have all your uh, all your stats right here and you want here if you want you can edit your XP level um, your X XP in general uh, you can edit your skill points you can edit the head that you have on your person you can edit the skin you can pretty much edit anything you want if you click on currency you can go in the top row to edit your uh, money the second row to edit your iridium and the third row to edit your saffron crystals I don't really know what this one does because I haven't found anything that uses that but that's in there too <laughs> and then if you click on backpack right here you can look at all the different uh, weapons that you have and if you click on one and say you want this sniper again and you right click on it and you hit copy code and then you want it's a weapon so you hit new weapon and then paste code and it'll pop up right there and you'll have a duplicate of it so you can add whatever weapons you want and you can modify this any way you want you just have to make sure that it doesn't have a exclamation point because it probably won't hold up so if you select bandit and you want to have uh, uncommon it, the exclamation point goes away and then the manufacturer you have to change it to bandit or whatever and you can just edit edit it however you want and make your own gun and then once you're done you want to go to manufacture grade and then make sure it's the same as your experience level so if it's not then you won't be able to use it but if it's uh, less you'll still be able to use it but it ha it'll have less damage so you want to make it as the same level you are and then you can go to bank and edit the weapons in your bank edit whatever you want and then if you click, you click over here at raw you can edit a lot of things but the things I found it useful for were uh, the ammo pools you can mod also mod the backpack space the skill traits the bank slots and a lot more stuff but it's just not easy to find these things out so fast <laughs> um, to mod the ammo pools you just go to resource data so you just gotta find that on here right there and you click on collection and it'll pop up with all your ammos and you just go down here and this is your SMG so the SMG pool, you can keep going higher than the up, normal upgrade, and it'll keep giving you plenty of uh, ammo. Just do that, <laughs> and you have that much ammo. So you mod your ammo, and then you can uh, mod the backpack space by going to black market upgrades. So you want to scroll up and go to the collection of black market upgrades. open uh, you can mod them right there that's really all you just say you want 18 upgrades and I'll give you a lot of things you just hit 99 or in this case 18 18 and you just make sure you write every one of those numbers as whatever you want the upgrade to be and then to mod the skill points go to skill data and you want to scroll down 
and then double click on the collection of skill data. It kind of gets difficult here because there's a lot of things that you have to edit and make sure you don't mess up. But um, if it's grade one, change it to grade nine and it'll be that much more effective. And then to mod, to unlock the travel places in the fast travel, um, go to fully explored areas, the collection. So right here, fully explored areas, click on the collection. And I'll have a uh, note on the screen right now. And I'll have a code of all the ones you need to add. And you will have every single um, fast travel unlocked. So once you're done all that, you want to go to save. And you want to click on this one. Make sure it's that one and not this one because otherwise it won't work. And then save the save game. And yes, replace. And then once you're in here, you want to go back into Horizon. And you want to right click and hit replace. Now you want to click on the save game that you just modded and then hit open. And it'll say it replaced successfully. If it does not say that, then you might need to exit out of Borderlands 2 editor. But since it did, I'm fine. And then you can either click save to device or save rehash and resign. I like to do this one. Hit OK. And then save to the device. The flash drive. Yes, save changes. Yes, overwrite. And there it is. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, click the like button. If you want more of this, click the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.